This is the Jason Knight designed Fox made uh, tactical elements distributed MK Ultra folding kukri. Uh, I've shown this a lot on the podcast and on Thursday Night Knives, but it just occurred to me that I hadn't made a close up video of it where we get to take a look at it a little bit closer and I'll compare it to some other knives. Uh, as I mentioned, Jason Knight, the uh, the famed um, master bladesmith, who was a uh, fill-in judge on Forged in Fire. That's how I learned of him. Uh, but I follow him now on Instagram and just kind of follow his career of making incredibly beautiful and menacing sort of kukri-style camp knives and sort of kukri bowie knives and that kind of thing. And uh, he's also just a really great guy. He was on the show, and uh, he's a great guy, very funny, very charming, and just has a, a wealth of experience in the, in the knife world and in forging. And so, as I mentioned, uh, kukris are his specialty, and uh, this is the second run of this uh, MK Ultra folding kukri from his design. Uh, the first one he did, I believe, was a collaboration with uh, Doug Markaita, or Doug Markaita had something to do with it. I know he's had a long-standing relationship with Fox Knives, so maybe he was the guy who who opened the door or made made it happen. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, this is the second run of these in the past. I don't know. I think four years or so, and I think I've had quite a bit of success with this run. Um, they did it simultaneous, uh, with a, simultaneously with a fixed blade version of this that's a little bit larger. I think the handle's the same size, the blade's a little bit longer. And speaking of size, it's deceptively large. Uh, or, in other words, it seems like a smaller knife than it actually is because of how light and thin it is. Uh, but you've got uh, a four and a quarter inch blade or so. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Yeah, it's about, I guess if you put it, yeah, it's about four inches right on. And uh, it's a it's a pretty uh, effective looking and somewhat menacing four inches, but incredibly useful, very sharp. Uh, this, by the way, is N690. CO steel and uh, it comes to a nice thin edge and uh, very very sharp T recently touched it up on my new strop even though it didn't need it and uh, now it's ridiculous a uh, fox knives n690 this is titanium and you've got your lock bar insert in there and then of course this is canvas micarta it's got a little blue jean blue jean staining there and it's on bearings. I find this uh, difficult to to um, undo with the thumb sometimes for some reason. Uh, undo, you know what I mean. Unlock. I find this more. I'm, I'm putting my forefinger in there and then letting it drop. But you know, so very great action. Uh, this fuller here is not only a looker, but you can spidey flick with it. You just kind of stick your the fat of your of your finger in there and flip it out. Um, and then the ergonomics on this thing are incredible. This this continuous curve from where your thumb nestles into the back of the blade, just curving the entire way, and then a little scoop up here like you would get up at the uh, pommel of a traditional kukri to, to just sort of um, maintain and bolster your grip in a sort of chop and arrest arrest the movement of the thing if it's moving in that direction. And then you on the other side, you have this uh, bird's beak and then this perfect palm swell fits the hand beautifully. And, uh, and then it's all capped off with the flipper, which is a nice guard to stop your hand from running onto that blade. That would be a tragic event <laughs> because it's very, very sharp. And of course it's recurved and uh, it would just slice you up real good. So definitely a tactical style folding pocket knife, right? 
it would be, it's extremely useful as an EDC. I have to say it's a, a large EDC, but it's thin enough. Uh, it's about a half inch thick. It's thin enough, light enough that it's easy to carry every day and, and you get a lot of capability with it. Um, so yes, definitely great EDC, but I mean, look at this thing. It looks like a fighting knife. And, uh, so, I mean, I sort of categorize it as, as such, and I like those kind of knives, you know that. And so I have, uh, another knife in this category about the same size that I recently got that I also love carrying a lot recently, which is this, uh, Yo Jumbo. I just took this little hump off. Otherwise it's totally stock. And look, it's about the same size in every uh in every sort of dimension but it's a totally different kind of blade obviously you got this deep extreme recurve here and here you have this just extremely flat both extremely effective uh in their in their different ways and uh also just very compelling and beautiful knives so these have been my two favorites uh of recent you know of, of recent carry um so different and yet uh, very similar, similarly sized. Uh, let me show this MK Ultra, produced by Fox Knives Italy. Uh, let me show it with a couple of other knives here that I, I see it fitting into the same category with. <laughs> How do you finish that sentence? Okay, uh, an obvious one, the Spartan, the Cold Steel Spartan. Kind of dwarfs it, I guess. It doesn't, I, would, I shouldn't say dwarfs it, but, you know, it's a big, big knife. But uh, I bring it in here because of that deep recurve. It's very Kukri-esque. And uh, also talk about a, uh, talk about a grip strategy here. That thing is, this handle is uh, going to keep it in your hand. Let's just put it that way. Next, the Super CQC-15 kind of the same size, the same category of knife with that recurve. Yeah, that's a good combo. Here's one that I hardly ever pull out, but this is the old uh, Uliza, designed by Ulrich Henneke, uh, I think is his name. It's a Seki City... Uh, production this particular specimen has always been trouble um my brother has one just like it and it's really awesome smooth as silk the action on this one has just always been weird but what a cool and gorgeous knife uh, i remember the first time i saw this uh i don't know what year it was new maybe 2013 i remember thinking it looked like a filipino sword and i had wished that i had designed it kind of in a similar camp as this as this here uh mk ultra folding kukri two more here this this is a good uh, a lot of spider coast but here's a good one that's the military so again same category if you know the military actually the military might be the best size comparison here so far it is very very similar And lastly, but not leastly, the M, uh, XM24. So that's a four inch Bowie blade. And uh, yeah, I would put those on the same shelf. Well, they are on the same shelf, <laughs> right close to each other. So um, this is, is not a small knife, this MK Ultra. You see all the, the knives that it's comparing to uh, similarly. Uh, it's not a small knife, but it carries like one. Honestly, it, it, it really is just so light. Now this, this dimension might, might, uh, strike you as pretty broad and it is, but with that thinness, again, you know, you can, you can reach in your skinny jeans. No, I'm just kidding. This would probably not, not do that well, but, uh, you know, in regular jeans, if you're just kind of a regular person, this, uh, 
I'm sorry. If you wear regular jeans, I'm not calling you an irregular person. I think you get what I'm saying. If you're an old fart like myself and you're not wearing skinny jeans, this is fine in the pocket. You can reach past it to get your keys. Heaven forbid you should carry your keys in your same pocket with your with your nice knives. But, uh, but uh, the size of this, don't let the size turn you off unless you just want a smaller blade because it carries like a smaller knife. Anyway, I think you get the idea. I think this thing is just awesome. Uh, check out Stasa's video, Stasa23. He, uh, he has one of these, and he's putting it through actual paces and really working it, and I'm looking forward to seeing what he finds out. Uh, also, uh, Dirk Warning has some uh, video of this and also the fixed-bladed version of this, uh, whose handle, incidentally, is uh, the same profile but contoured. So looks like a Coke bottle, I think, as you turn it. All right, I've spoken too long. Thanks for checking this out.